for Wonderland out there this entire weekend, really. Yeah. Especially in just Minnesota as a whole, like the, <laughs> Duluth, the, uh, uh -huh. Minneapolis, and now Rochester. Yeah, it's just... so really folks in the Twin Cities and to the north is where they saw really the bulk of that snowfall. Here at home, we've kind of dealt with a little bit of a mess. We've seen some of that wintry mix throughout Friday into early Saturday. Saturday dealing with rain throughout the day, then back to a wintry mix. And then we did see some snow throughout the evening time yesterday and then today as well that has created more headaches on the roadway, but especially up towards Duluth. Well, over a foot of snow, definitely quite a bit of snowfall up in that region. Today we stayed not too bad temperature wise, about 32 degrees in Rochester elsewhere into those lower 30s and Austin at 36 degrees, so mid 30s there, but overall not bad in terms of snowfall totals. Now these were from earlier today. I'm hoping to see some updated totals uh, later on, but Winona coming with two inches of snow, Caledonia and Northeast Rochester at an inch even Wyckoff at six tenths and Hayfield at two tenths of an inch of snowfall. So not a whole lot here in our neck of the woods. So some good news there, but uh, still seeing some tough road conditions in the area. Checking in with our precision radar. Looks like a lot of that snowfall has been out, moved out of the area. So that is some great news as we kind of take a broad view here with our satellite and radar. Essentially all that snow that was covering southern southern Minnesota uh, with more of that wintry mix in the snow than up towards the northern part of the state and even into northern Wisconsin has since pushed off towards the east, creating some havoc then off towards the eastern seaboard. So quieter conditions here tonight and good news is tomorrow and into throughout much of next week. Checking in with those road conditions, still seeing plenty of slick spots in the area. So most roads in the area are either partially covered or completely covered with some snow, maybe a little bit of some ice. So slow down if you do have to head outdoors and drive around this evening or travel around the area. Most folks heading home from those Thanksgiving travel plans, but in terms of road conditions, still tough. Take it easy and watch out for some of those slick spots in the area. Well, there we go. Getting the clicker to work here right now. Live look at our Gwaltly Group camera from Assisi Heights checking out downtown Rochester. Still seeing plenty of cloud cover in the area. We will see some clearing with clouds later tonight, so we're going to see some cooler temperatures uh, during the overnight hours. Temperatures currently sitting into the mid 20s, feeling chilly out there with wind chills then back into the teens. Single digits is what it feels like in towards Dodge Center. But as we look ahead with future cast tonight, we'll see that cloud cover slowly peel away during the overnight hours. So we'll see those temperatures really cool down into those lower teens for tomorrow. Then good news is back to some sunshine, maybe a few clouds uh, later on in the day. But overall looking to see plenty of sunshine, quiet conditions, a nice dry, quiet stretch of weather as high pressure takes control of the region. And then even last into Tuesday and even into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and even into Saturday. We're looking at some quiet conditions here in the area for the rest of next week. Looking at tonight temperatures, like I said, cooling down into the lower teens, light winds, but those wind chills probably back down into the single digits. So going to be very chilly for tonight. Tomorrow, looking at plenty of sunshine temperatures into the mid and upper 20s. So it will be a little cooler for this time of the year, but checking in with our extended forecast. Look at that sunshine, beautiful seasonal temperatures. <laughs> nothing to complain about here with this forecast. I mean, compared to this weekend and even the storm that we had before Thanksgiving, beautiful conditions right. here for next, this upcoming week. That's mother of nature's way of saying we, we, we put you through <laughs> all that grief. Now it's we're going to have some, Yeah, it is our reward. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Exactly. And coming up next, Thanksgiving may 